why Saren would help us. But there was no time to think about it. Sarver knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a stretch. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was soft. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Giving me just seconds to extract my squadrons. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. When I actually played, I saved Ashley, I think. But since I've played through all of them, I kind of regret that now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save Caden actually instead and see how it plays out differently because I never have. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew that the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Proteans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. Maybe that was a bad she idea, but I want to see death. the difference. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Hylos close behind Seraph. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean data bank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done with it, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reavers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. I hated the council. They were all conceited and just pissed me off every chance they got, so I let them die. The council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined Galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper. They took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Sarah, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first council was left for me to decide. That's a lot of words. On the one hand, Medina, the lifetime politician. 
ruthless and ambitious. He would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, a career soldier. Tough but fair. But a friend. And someone I could trust. Both I'd, great leaders in their own right. I pick Anderson because I know he's better for the job and I don't like Udina at all. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered. We had to find a way to stop. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Eventually, the council would only say I was assigned to clean up duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Bring Shepard back to life. Commander Shepard, Captain Ricardo. Well, technically now they bring me back to life. I got the first trophy. You have earned a trophy missing in action. Now, I am sorry about this part, but I am going to make my own character and customize it. So, that'll take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be too long. I'll try and run through it as quickly as I can. Start off with the first base and work from there. There we go. 